What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can create this beautiful teal and orange color grading effect just using Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and simply load Lightroom. Now, I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic in this particular tutorial, but this particular effect is also possible using Lightroom CC and Lightroom Mobile. So you can do it on your phone or also on your desktop. So once you've gone ahead, choose the photo. So I'm gonna be choosing number five today. And we wanna move from library. We're gonna go ahead over to the develop panel. Now, firstly, we're going to go ahead and use our basic sliders found on the right hand side, and then we're gonna work our way down. So let's go ahead and open up up basics first. What we want to do firstly is add an ever so slight amount of contrast. So let's add around 10%. But what we want to do is drop down these highlights a little bit. So we could drop them down to let's say around about, let's say minus 60 in this particular case. Again, if you're using raw photos, it's going to be classed more of a dramatic effect than if you're simply using JPEGs. Then what you want to do is just go ahead and drop those shadows down, add a little bit more contrast. I like doing that. Let's go for around minus 10. Then let's go to the whites, bring those down to around minus 25, let's say. And then lastly, let's just darken those blacks, add a little bit more pinch to those blacks. We'll do, let's say another minus 20 on there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and simply drop down from our basics and we're gonna drop down to the tone curve. Now, what I want to do is just add a very subtle effect by just simply dropping those shadows slightly, add a little bit more there. And then what we're gonna do is lift those blacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for an effect. So add a little bit of those shadows and then darken that bit there. To create this a little bit more of a contrasty look. I like doing that with the photos. Maybe a little bit less of an effect, something like so. Okay, quite happy with that. Okay, so let's moving on from there. Let's go to the HSL or Hue, Saturation and Luminance sliders. This is where most of the main effect is going to take shape. So let's go ahead over to the reds first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and increase those, run about 20 or so. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to the oranges here and we're gonna drop those by around about minus 15%. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop down to the yellows and we're gonna go down, this is gonna be the most dramatic change. This is gonna create that kind of teal look uh, or orangey look you can see in the shrubbery in the front. So we're gonna drop these all the way down to around about minus 70. And as you can see, that's what's created that effect. Okay, so moving on from there, we're gonna to go to the greens now and we're gonna go ahead and increase those by around about 60 or so. So we're gonna go ahead to around, let's go around minus 60 there. Then we need to go ahead and drop down to the blues, or aquish, should we say. And we're gonna go ahead and go to about minus 30 or so, I think. Let's go minus 35 in this particular case. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and do the blues, and we're gonna go for about minus 30 again. So we're gonna go for about that look there. And as you can see, that tealy blue look is now starting to take shape. But I like also affecting saturation and luminance as well. So we're gonna to go to our saturation here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and increase the saturation of those reds by let's say about 20 or so percent. I don't like increasing things too more than that, but around about that like so. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave the oranges and we're gonna to go to the yellows. I'm gonna to go to around 20 again. So I like increasing it. Let's go for 25, a little bit more punch within that section just below here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the greens here, as you can see, and we're gonna increase those quite a lot to probably around about 50. So we're gonna go for a look like so. Uh, okay, so we're almost done with this particular effect. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the blues or aquas, and we're gonna drop those down by quite a considerable amount. Let's go by about minus 50. And again, I'm gonna say the same look for the blues, Again, we're gonna go for about minus 50 there as well. Maybe a little bit brighter. Uh, let's go for minus 40 instead. Then with the purples, I'm also going to drop those down again by about minus 50. So again, minus 50 there. And then lastly, the magentas, I'm also going to drop that down by about minus 50. Okay. 
Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is just affect the overall luminance. So we can control every single color band when it comes to either hue, which we've done, saturation, which we've done, and then it comes down to the brightness, which is the luminance. So we can go ahead and change that like so. So go over from saturation, let's go ahead and drop to luminance. So with this, we're gonna go ahead and brighten those reds slightly. Let's brighten them to around about 30. Uh, let's leave the others until we get to green. I don't like affecting the brightness of those because sometimes it can affect skin tone. So let's go to the greens and what we're gonna do is actually darken those greens. I'm gonna go for about minus 50 again. Okay, so let's move over to aquas. So with aquas, again, I always like darkening those. We're gonna go for about minus 40 in this particular case. As you can see, bring out, if I do the before and after, not much of a difference but there is a slight change there, which is definitely beneficial. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the blues, which again, I like darkening the roughly the same as aquas. Probably gonna go for about minus 20 in this particular case. So I might brighten those up. So they're both around minus 20. And I must say, this effect is really starting to take shape. Now, after you've changed the luminance of the colors, you may need to change the overall exposure of the photo. It really does depend on the type of photo you're working on. In this particular case, I would say it's gone a little bit too dark. So what I'd recommend is going back up into the basics panel, going to that exposure there and bringing that up ever so slightly. And as you can see, just as a slight change, a minus two stop change has made that difference. Now, we haven't actually done any of the texture clarity or de-high sliders. If you would like to do that, which you're more than welcome to, we could go to our clarity here, increase that by about 10%, and then we can also go to de-haze and do the same. And with most of the photos I like working on, I also like adding in a ever so slight amount of vignetting. So what I can do is go down to the effects here, go to our post crop vignette, and we're gonna go ahead and add in a slight vignette, probably around about 10, uh, and then I would probably like increasing the feather of that as well to let's say around about 70 or so. So something like this. And again, when you add in a vignette, you might need to go to the overall exposure again and just bring that up ever so slightly. And as you can see, just by changing just a couple of sliders, more specifically the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders, we can create this really, really nice effect. And here we go, here is the before, and here is the after. Write it down in the comments below if you like this effect and if it worked for you.